How about that, huh? Look at the way that kid moves, and she's great. Gee, she can sure do the twist. Hey, I didn't know they did the twist in Italy. Hey, you kid. They do it even better than we do. You bet. Dimmi quando tu verrai. Dimmi quando, quando. Yeah, some whole movie. Where'd you get the orchestra? Huh? <laughs> that isn't an orchestra. That's a recording. Oh. Well, that's it. Hey, there he is. Bravo! All right. Put the screen away, huh? Okay. Danny boy, where did you pick up this kid? I'll tell you the truth, Charlie. I, I didn't pick her up. She sort of picked me up. What? Well, when we were in Venice, the way she kept coming over, she was always she wanted to audition for and had her whole family auditioning, as a matter of fact. I couldn't get her out of my hair. I'm glad you couldn't. Huh? Because everything you said about her is true, and only more so. Oh, this kid's a belter. You bet. She sure has a funny name, Piccolo Poofa. Isn't it funny when uh, you understand it? In Italian, it means little doll. Yeah, and she's a little doll in any language. A 12 year old singer could bring a lot of family trade to the club. Uh, yeah, but that means a lot of kids. <laughs> I wonder how much I could charge for milk on the rocks. Charlie, why don't you put up a sign? No children allowed without drinking parents. I take it back. All right, I'll take back my sign. <laughs> well, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm ready for when she gets here. Get a load of this. Meta aqua nella batteria. Where did you learn that? From this book. I've been brushing up on Italian so I can greet her in her native language. Say, say that again. Meta aqua nella batteria. Why, that's beautiful, Rusty. Where, what does it mean? Put water in the battery. <laughs> For an encore, ask for a lube and oil job? Honey, don't pick on him. Yeah, I mean, I just got the book, Dad. Well, yeah. learn something nice. At least he made the effort. I made an effort, too. Okay. I learned how to say hello in Italian. Oh, how do you say it? Arrivederci. <laughs> Arrivederci, not dirci. Besides, that's not hello, that's goodbye. Oh. Well, anyway, I'm all set for when she leaves. <laughs> well, when you get to know her as well as we do, you'll all love her. You bet you. I tell you, Charlie, this girl has got a just a vibrant personality. When she walks into a room, it just lights up. A little bombshell, huh? Eh? Oh, you said it. You know something, Danny? Mm. That's how I'm gonna build it. The Venetian bombshell. Hey, that sounds great. Hey, that must be her. <laughs> Poopa! Poopa! So nice to see you again, Mr. Williams. And you also, Mrs. Williams. Hello, Poopa. Hello. Senor? This is my uncle, Signor Di Gregorio. How do you do, Mr. How do you do, Signor? Uh, Signor. Signora. Oh. And uh, these are our children, our son Rusty. Oh, no, I'm not these. Are the children. <laughs> Rusty and Linda. This is Mr. Halper. Oh, Mr. He, Halper. He's the boss of the Copas. Yeah. Where Cooper's going to work. And Charlie, here's your new star. She's going to take America by storm. Signorina Piccola Pupa de Gregorio. I am pleased to meet you, sir. Um, Likewise. <laughs> so you're a little bombshell, huh? Cosa? Well, Danny was telling me what a ball of fire you are. Cosa? Charlie, Charlie. All right, she understands a lot of English, but she doesn't know American slang. She's fresh from Italy. Oh, Italian? Yeah. Well, I could handle that. <clears throat> if Danny was a taller me. <laughs> What a ball of fire you are! <laughs> <laughs> Signor diceva che tu sei a sacco singer. Oh, sacco! Sì. Yeah. Opa, non dir quella parola. A me non piace sacco singer. Scusi, oh. zio. Yes, we were just watching the film where you were singing Quando Quando. She doesn't sing that song anymore. Oh? Well, uh, look, we can... 
We can talk business later. Honey, why don't you show them to their rooms? All right. I hope Ma you'll be very comfortable here. Yeah. 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 That's right. Linda, 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 play some games with it, dear. You, you get along fine. She oh, understands yeah. a lot of English. Danny. Yeah? You sure you gave me the right scoop on this kid? What? I, well, I mean, she don't act to me like a bombshell. Oh, come on, Charlie. What do you expect? A strange little kid in a strange country talking to strange people. What do you want to do, hop around on a pogo stick? Give her a chance. She's naturally a little shy. Don't worry, pal. Oh, that's a little bundle of dynamite. I sure hope so. Don't worry. Because if your uh, bundle of dynamite fizzles, my little cash register ain't gonna go ding-ding. <laughs> and if my cash register don't go ding-ding, my ulcer is gonna go boom-boom. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm kind of anxious to play for this kid. You got Piccolo Pete? <laughs> it's not Piccolo Pete. Piccola Pupa. She's from Venice. Italian girl. I don't love those Venetians. They're my kind of people, you know? They're way out. Huh? The Venetians are way out? Uh, are you kidding? Look at their plumbing. It's wild, man. <laughs> Pupa! Yes, she is. Oh, now. sorry to be late, oh, but we stopped right, to see some of the city. Uh, Senor de Gregorio, Mr. Shelley Mills, Miss sweetheart, Bates. this is going to be your accomplice. Piacere conoscerla. Kind of happy rigatoni to you, too. <laughs> well, I guess the first thing we got to do is to hear some of the numbers, and then we can decide how we're going to routine them, huh? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Mills, I want to discuss some things with you. I wish to show you here. Hold it, this... hold it, hold it. This is the music, right? Uh, yes, about the... Uh, okay, then just relax and leave it off the whole show. Because with these ten crazy fingers, everything's going to come out all right. Yes, but there are some cool changes it, here. Cool it, cool it, <laughs> Shelly Mills digs. Digs? And when Shelly Mills digs, all's well with the world. <laughs> okay, Shelly, give her a nice jump intro. Cafu. Cafu is snafu here, honey. We don't cafu here. <laughs> honey, your regular music I want to hear, so Mr. Halper can get some idea what kind of program we're going to have. I'd like to know, too. Yeah. But that is my regular music. What? That's right. Just a minute. Opera? That's what she's going to say? But of course. Uh, Danny, this isn't the merchandise we sent for. Now, just take it easy, will you, Charlie? Relax. Poopa, dear. When when I saw you in Venice, you, you sang popular jazz. What happened, dear? Well, I... I decided it wasn't right for her. You decided. Just when did you decide that? When I took personal charge of her career. The poor child. She had no one to look after her. No one to tell her that what she was singing was trash. Oh, just a minute. I don't consider popular music trash. I do. And the music that Pope is going to sing is going to be truly great music. But this is the Copa, not the Metropolitan. Why, the, the most highbrow music we ever had here was when the Mills Brothers sang Glowworm. <laughs> I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you have to understand... I'm you. sorry. No, but this is a nightclub. Nice Nobody did not come People to come America to, to degrade herself. Music. She's a good singer opera, about... just like I did during my own career. Oh, oh, I see. You, you were an opera singer. I was a leaning tenor at La Scala. You sang at La Scala? Yes. And at La Scala, they are still talking about the way I sang the title role in Otello in 1958. I, I see. So, uh, you want Pooper to be a chip off the old block, eh? Cosa? Uh, an old American expression. In this case, it means uh, like uncle, like niece. I got another old American expression. Uh. You gotta have rocks and you have to become a nightclub owner and go through all the sacrifices. <laughs> She sure sounds like she's suffering. She needs help. 
The only help she needs is to get away from that Svengali uncle of hers. What's a Svengali? A big, fat Italian sausage, that's what it is. <laughs> You'll like this guy. He, he says that any music that isn't classical or operatic is just trash. He'd never say anything like that if you ever heard really great music like Bossa Nova Baby or Talk Back Trembling Lips. <laughs> You just put up a great argument for his side. <laughs> Honey, do you mind if we don't play anymore? I can't concentrate on this game. It just murders me. I know that kid is dying to swing out. But that uncle of hers, he sure got her brainwashed. Hey, how about a little brainwashing in reverse? Huh? Mm-hmm. Well, now, if the Williams family stages a jam session, maybe a certain Italian might forget her cadenzas and join in, huh? <laughs> we'll see. Rusty, put on a twist record. Yeah. Let's about, move the chairs. How about rip it up? Good, fine, fine. Louise, you are positively brilliant. Ah, thank you. Not at all. It's ideas like that that make up for your awful cooking. Go ah! <laughs> Pie, huh? Oh, Mr. De Gregorio, don't don't blame Poopa. We're just having a little family fun, that's all. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Nothing, of course, senor. But Poopa has no time for this nonsense. She has to prepare for her opening. Viene Poopa. Oh. oh, I wish there was something I could do about that guy. I know what I'd like to do. I'd like to slip a Mickey pin in his lasagna. <laughs> hey, I'm early. This must be a first for me. Now, don't get carried away, Shelly. You're the only one. There's not going to be any rehearsal. No rehearsal? Nah. No rehearsal, no show. The deal is off. we got to cancel the kids. Well, what gives? It's what don't give. That uncle of hers. Oh, him. I got a big hot flash for you guys. Huh? The uncles are phony. What? He's not really her uncle? Oh, he could be her uncle, all right. But he ain't no opera star. What are you talking about? That jazz he gave you about singing Atala at La Scala? Yeah. Oh, was that a beautiful story. You mean, you mean he didn't sing at La Scala? The title role of Atala at La Scala in 1958 was sung by a joker named Mario Delmonico. Mario Delmonic? Sure. Leona Reisnick was Desdemona. Gabriel Cateran was Emilia. And Tito Gobi sang the role of Iago. How do you know all that? Because I happen to be an opera nut. <laughs> you? Sure. You with the, with the ten crazy fingers? No, oh, I just play the piano to make a living. But opera I listen to to stay alive. You give me La Forza del Destino, and I'll give you Count Basie in six points. <laughs> when this Uncle Nino claims that he sang Otello at La Scala in 1958, this don't ring no bell with me, see, because I don't remember his name in there anywhere, especially in the leading role. So what'd you do? So I went home and I looked it up, and I found a review, and what do you think? You found a review? Sure, sure enough. No Nino Di Gregorio in the leading role. No Nino Di Gregorio in any role. If he was in anything, he was in the chorus, and I wouldn't bet on that. If you ask me, Uncle Nino was an usher. Danny, how do you like that? The guy is a phony. 
Oh, 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 this is beautiful. Shelly, do you mind if I borrow this magazine? Be my guest. What, what are you gonna do, Danny? Blackmail him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't use that uncouth term, blackmail. I'm going to use an entirely different approach. I'm just gonna let Uncle Nino know what I know. Then when he knows that I know what I know, he will know that I will use what I know to get him to listen to reason. You see? Yeah, blackmail. <laughs> Pouring out a thrilling volume of sound in a stupendous performance as the Moor was the renowned tenor Mario Del Monaco. No, Nino de Gregario? Nope. Oh, why, they don't even mention him in this review. That's right, they don't mention him. Why, that big phony, he wasn't even in the opera. That's right. If he was at La Scala at all, you can bet me he was an usher. But this is just fine. Now, I'll be able to get him out of my hair and get my show on the road. Why, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> you just wait. Ciao. Hey, ciao, ciao. Papa. Ah, Hi, honey. Uh, Mr. Williams. Yes, sir. I was distressed to learn that there was no rehearsal schedule for today. Oh, I'm <laughs> very sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> well, I have made up the selection for Pupa's repertoire, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to discuss it with those concerned. Uh -huh. See, here is the list. I see. And please, do not ask for any changes. Oh, I won't. I have given the list considerable thought, and there should be no deviations. Yeah, well, far be it for me to make any changes on such a great... Musical artist as yourself. Grazie, oh. signore. <laughs> I notice you've included an aria from Otello. Isn't that the opera in which you starred? Yes. At La Scala, wasn't it? Uh, in 1958. What an excellent memory you have. <laughs> How's your memory? <laughs> what? My memory is all right. You remember Mario Del Monaco? Mario Del Monaco? Yes, I believe. He sang in that opera, too, according to the review in this old magazine we found. Sure. Have a review of Otello on La Scala? Yes, there's quite a review on Otello at La Scala in 1958. Would you like me to read it to you? But, uh, oh, how exciting! <laughs> May I see it? Uh, no. Well, I mean, uh, there is no point in dwelling in the past. <laughs> besides, Puba, it's written in English and you wouldn't understand it. That you read it to me, Mr. Williams? Well... Please. Uh, see, I... You I, must. I am so proud of Uncle Nino. <laughs> Ever since I was a little, Andy told me of his great career. He has been my idol. <laughs> no, Pupa. No, no, no. Uh, no, please. You will read it? Please? Well, I... Uh, okay, I'll read it. Danny. Honey, sit down, huh? Oh, well, Poopa, uh, it says, uh, last night at La Scala, an international audience was brought to its feet in appreciation of a rare talent in the season's premiere performance of Otello, uh, uh, demonstrating his ever-increasing perfection as a singer and artist pouring out a thrilling volume of sound and a stupendous performance as the Moor was the renowned tenor N Nino de Gregorio. Bravo, Zio Nino. More, read more. Oh, well, darling, there isn't. The rest of it is technical. I don't understand it myself all about his great mezzo and his legato and, and um, oh, anyway, it says he, he was just wonderful, very good. You mean uh, he was, like you say, soccer? <laughs> yes, sweetheart. <laughs> Uncle Nino was soccer at La Scala. Oh, Uncle Nino, you're wonderful. The, the child. Now, please, uh, control yourself. Uh, uh, Poop, uh, why don't you go and have something to eat? You have been working very hard, and you've got to keep up your strength, and I must converse with Mr. Williams. Come on, Poopa. I'll, I'll pick something for you. Uh, Mr. Williams, uh, why? Haven't you heard? 
I'm a big cornball. I assure you, I, I didn't do it to protect a phony like you. I just couldn't break her heart. I'm very fond of that child. I do. I wouldn't want to hurt her. I am very fond of her. Yeah, you sure got a funny way of showing it. Lying and deceiving. That's your idea of affection. But I needed to have her respect. I had to have her look up to me. Could she respect a failure? Well, you sure don't know your niece at all, do you? That kid is God blessed. She loves people, period. And you're her uncle. She'd love you no matter what you were. No, Mr. De Gregorio, that's a clumsy excuse. The truth of the matter is that you haven't been thinking about Pooper's career at all. You've just been thinking about a career that you obviously never had. Mr. Williams, let me explain. All my life, I wanted to see the name De Gregorio on the marquee of La Scala. I was never able to put it there. Then I get the idea that maybe Poopa, she can do it. But you are right. I'm not thinking about Poopa. I'm not thinking what she wants. I'm only thinking what I want. Look, senor, Poopa has a lot of talent, but not for the opera. And there's nothing dishonorable about having the name De Gregorio on the marquee of the Copa in New York. You were right. Mr. Williams, you love Poopa. Very much. Then, from now on, you decide what is best for Poopa. You got a deal. <laughs> Mille grazie. Don't worry about this. Your secret will die with me. As far as I'm concerned, you were at La Scala. But I was at La Scala for five years. Usher. Signore, head usher. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you a lovely young creature who's making her first appearance in America. The Copa is proud to present from Venice, Italy, Pica la Pupa! Renato, 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 la serenata che ti ho cantato. Oh, oh, Renato, 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 se non mi baci non vivo più. Renato, 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 a casa tua tu mi hai invitato. Oh, oh, Renato, 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 poi ci ho trovato papà e mamma. Scommetto che nessuno bacia come te, però chissà perché non lo dimostri a me. Se tu ti decidesti a dirmi almeno sì, io non sarei ridotta così. Renato, 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 così carino, così educato. Oh, oh, Renato, 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 tu sei un mostro di ingenuità. Scommetto che nessuno bacia come te, però chissà perché non lo dimostri. 